Hello, welcome to Yogo.tv. My name is Lauren Rogali, and we're here in this uh, beautiful uh, private backyard. I'd like today to uh, do a class focusing on uh, the neck and the shoulders and specifically releasing tension in this area of the body. Um, I've suffered for over a decade with uh, tension migraines and they've been really challenging, something that uh, uh, impacts me every week and um, can really interrupt my my plans really or my day um, and I find that these stretches and these exercises have been incredibly helpful uh, with that being said at any time if you need to just do a few poses and then stop um, and lie down you can do that and then that's the great thing about videos you can stop and play at any time so we're going to start in a seated position and uh, you're welcome to sit as I am in a cross-legged position. I have uh, chosen to sit on a folded up blanket. Um, you can also use blocks or even just pull a few cushions off of your couch, um, which is a nice option as well. It does feel good when the hips are either level with the knees or slightly higher than the knees. Uh, take a few moments just with your eyes closed. without changing or directing the breath at this time, just notice the pattern of your breath. As you naturally exhale, allow for your hips to become heavier as they sink down into the floor, the cushion beneath you. Relax through your legs. Even soften the tops of your shoulders away from your ears until your shoulder blades travel gently down your spine. Your elbows become heavier. And maybe this tension has arised from, you know, an active lifestyle or a stressful event. Or maybe it's come up sort of sporadically, spontaneously. But whatever it may be, for whatever reason, just settle here. And let this be an opportunity to tune in to that aspect of ourself that we all have that, that aligns with healing, wholeness. Keep your hips heavy down into the floor. Keep your shoulders relaxed. But on your next inhale, lengthen from your hips all the way up through the crown of your head until your lower back draws in and your chest, chest lifts forward and up. Maintain the length in your spine here and release your left hand down beside your left hip. Stretch your fingertips towards the floor on the left side and as you inhale, lift from the right shoulder up along the right side of your neck and lower your left ear towards your left shoulder. Great, keep that and now take your right hand and stretch it out towards the right side. And I don't find that my hand necessarily touches the floor, but as you extend out through your right fingertips, you'll increase the stretch on the right side. It should feel quite nice can stay with just an awareness of the breath or at this time you can choose to deepen the breath breathing into your nose and breathing out to your nose just letting the energy settle with every exhale and stay heavy in your hips and long through your spine and as you inhale lift your head back up to center and then as you exhale, you're going to plant the right fingertips down and now lift from the left shoulder out along the left side of your neck and lean the right ear towards the right shoulder. And I find that my left hand just naturally lifts away from the floor and that's absolutely fine. Just keep extending out through all five of your left fingers and just notice how that increases the stretch here on the side of your neck. Just breathe in and breathe out. Stay anchored in your pelvis, and as you inhale, bring your head back through center. And this time as you exhale, you're going to lower your chin towards your chest. 
Keep pulling your shoulders onto your back as you extend the crown of your head forward. Take a long breath in through your nose. A long breath out. And keep your arms reaching out to either side and your chin close towards your chest. And now roll your head over towards the left shoulder. And then exhale to come back to center. And inhale, roll your head over to the right shoulder. And exhale back to center. So little semicircles. Inhale to the left shoulder. Exhale to center. Inhale to the right shoulder. Exhale to center. Just do one more each side. Inhale to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center. And once your head has hit the center point, lift your chin away from your chest. So now your shoulders or your ears are up over top of your shoulders. And take your right hand and just place it um, on the sort of left chest by the pectoralis there. And you can relax your left hand down just on your thigh. Now push into your um, pectoralis there and then push it away towards your left knee. So you're putting some pressure there, which we're creating an anchor for the stretch. Now, as you inhale, look over your right shoulder. So you're looking the opposite direction as to where your hand is. And then lift your left ear up as your right ear comes towards the shoulder. And you can tweak the posture ever so slightly by either moving the chin closer towards that right shoulder or even um, sometimes I'll take my left hand on top of that hand on the pectoralis on the side there and push it away to increase the stretch. We're getting into this muscle called the sternocleidomastoid, which connects here um, just behind the ear and then comes down and connects to the collarbone. It's an area for me that gets really tight. Take another big breath in. As you exhale, just lean your ear away from the shoulder. Good, and then keep the anchor with your hands as you bring your head back through center and then release your hands by your side. Just move the head a bit from side to side. Notice how that feels. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you're just gonna take your left hand just across the body towards your right um, pec here. Take a big inhale, push into your hand and then push it away from you. So you're pushing it towards that right uh, knee. Another inhale to lengthen up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, turn to look over your left shoulder and then lift the right ear as the left ear comes towards the left shoulder. And your chin is slightly tilted towards that, that left shoulder and you're pushing that pec, that chest uh, away from you on the right side. Should feel again a pretty intense stretch along the side of the neck from behind the ear all the way down to the chest. If you want to stack the hands on top and pull away a little further, go ahead. Breathe in and breathe out. Find that little spot, that little release. Last breath, breathe in and breathe out. Keep the anchor with your hands as you lift your head back through center and then release your hands by your side. Give your shoulders a little roll. We forget so often that the neck and the shoulders are connected. From here, let's come into a standing position. So move into your hands and knees and then come right up to a standing position. And for this, uh, the next few variations, we will be using a strap. And if you don't have one of these yoga straps, um, they're pretty easy to find nowadays. You can find them at any uh, local drugstore, even online. Um, uh, but if you don't have one currently and you're doing this video, you can just take the belt off of your robe or even just one of your jean belts um, or even your husband's necktie, okay? And you'll find that those will serve you quite well. So starting, just place the strap to the side if you've gone to get it, gone to get it, and stand with your feet about inner hips distance apart. And it is important at this time that your feet are um, pointed straight ahead. And we're going to move into some uh, pretty casual swings here. So stand with your knees slightly bent and you're just going to turn from side to side. And as you turn from side to side, just let your arms really come out to the side and sort of tap you on your body. Bend your knees and look over your shoulder as you twist from side to side. We have such a beautiful view here. It's kind of nice to turn and look around. 
Just be mindful as you turn to one side that your head moves with your body, ears sort of moving with the shoulders. And just a few more on either side. Should feel pretty nice, almost playful. And slowly just keep your gaze forward slow down the movements start to find a spot in front of you and then eventually you'll come to a standing position please turn your palms forward and close your eyes once again take a long breath in through your nose and a long breath out Great. take your hands out in front of you interlace your fingers together and then push your palms forward Keep pressing your palms forward and your arms straight and now pull the head of your arm bones back until you feel your shoulder blades come closer together. Maintain that action, particularly in the shoulder blades, push down through your feet and now take your hands up over your head. Good. If you're anything like me, you kind of get into this banana boat back position. So pull your rib cage in, take your tailbone down and now from the four corners of your feet, continue to press up through your palms. Hold here for another big breath in. And a big breath out. Good. Bend your knees, bend the elbows, release your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers together. Keep your elbows quite wide and bent. Inhale, lift from your hips all the way up into your armpits. Once again, until the heart lifts up and the shoulders sort of rise subtly to the ears. And then exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your elbows together. We're actually just gonna keep the elbows bent for a few breaths. Bring your attention back up into your head and pull your ears back over the shoulders and lengthen up through the back of your neck. And inhale fully through your nose. And as you exhale, try to squeeze those shoulder blades even closer together. Take another long breath in and out. Good, last time, keep squeezing the elbows together. Breath in and breath out. Great, release your hands down by your side. You may need a little roll or circling of the shoulders and then go in the other direction. Take your right arm up over your head and as you exhale, bend your right elbow and just place your hand on your upper back. Then take your left hand to the top of that elbow. Push your elbow up into your hand and then pull gently with that left hand, your elbow behind your head. And you can almost use your head to your advantage as you push it up into the forearm of your left arm and then pull the elbow back. And again, just be mindful. This is something I always have to remind myself if you tend to get into your sort of lordotic curve in the spine here. So rib cage in, tailbone down, and pull your belly out. And take another big breath in and out. Good breath in and out. Yeah, nice and gently, just release your hands by your side. And sometimes it feels nice just to swing them and cross in front of each other. Let's do the other side. So as you inhale, take your left arm all the way up. As you exhale, bend that left elbow, place your hand on your upper back, and then take your right hand to the tip of that left elbow. As you inhale, lift the elbow up into your hand, and then as you exhale, gently pull with your right hand that left elbow back. And again, you just find that little spot in which you're feeling a stretch in the tricep, in the back of the arm there. Lift the crown of your head, maybe up into that right forearm, and you can even press gently the head back into that arm to keep the optimal alignment of the neck, which is our main focus today. And breathe in. It's hard not to just close my eyes, it's so beautiful out. <laughs> and breathe out. And two more breaths. Great, and then very slowly release your hands by your side and cross the hands just in front of each other. Good. Now take your arms out in front of you, again like Frankenstein arms, you can turn the thumbs up and pull the head of your arm bones back. And now you're gonna cross your right elbow over your left. And first option is just to bring the backs of your hands to touch or even touch your hands to your shoulders. This would be a modification. Um, 
from here, if, if there's room and it's accessible, then cross your forearms and as best as you can, bring your palms to touch. Bend into your knees. So we're just being aware of our lower body here, even though it's not doing much. Lengthen your tailbone down, pull up in your lower belly, and now push your elbows away from your chest. Move your hands away from your face and just notice the stretch between the shoulder blades here as they pull apart. You can inhale and exhale. Good. Continue to pull the shoulder blades apart as you press your elbows forward. You can imagine there's a wall in front of you and you're trying to push your forearms into that wall. Another long inhale and exhale. Good, very slowly release the crossing of your hands and let them come down by your side. And again, just swing them. It's really nice to give your body a bit of a swing after. And then let's do the, the other side, obviously. So reach your arms out like Frankenstein arms, pull the head of your arm bones back, cross your left elbow over your right. You can either take the backs of the hands together or the hands to the shoulders if you're finding this challenging. And of course, the full form of the pose, we bring the forearms together and the palms together. Lift your elbows up away from your chest and move your hands away from your face. Be mindful not to lock into your knees. Just keep a bit of a bend to the knees so there's a heaviness through your feet. Softly pull your belly up, not to strain, but just to stay in supporting you as you stand. And then come back to the breath, whether you're just letting the breath and the body breathe for you, sort of uninfluenced, or whether you're consciously breathing in and out to your nose. That's the beautiful thing about the respiratory system is that we can volunteer to participate or we can let the body breathe for us and sort of make it more passive. Two more breaths in this position. We're feeling the shoulder blades coming apart. We're actually pulling the shoulder blades apart and feeling the stretch as we do that. Inhale fully. Stay here as you exhale. And then as you inhale, release the hands nice and slowly. And again, just sweep them out in front. Let's just move these into a bit of swing. So cross the left arm over the right and then the right arm over the left. Nice big swings. Good. You'll notice I'm bending my knees as I do this. It feels really nice. Let the hands as they come back go a little bit further. Oh, it feels good. It's nice to do after a long day sitting in front of the office or in the desk, the computer. Uh, maybe if you're a mom at home and you've been nursing babies for 10 years, <laughs> this is nice for the shoulders too. Okay, so let's come down onto our knees here and then lay flat onto our bellies. So slowly make your way down onto your belly. We're gonna come into a stretch to continue to release any tension in the, in the inside edge of the, the deltoids or the shoulders here. So lay flat on your belly with your forehead down on the floor. Make sure that you're in a long line so your legs are out extended behind you and your forehead's just touching the mat to begin. And we'll start with our right hand. You're gonna take it out on the floor and look over to that hand to begin so that you're, you're truly lining up your hand with your shoulder. That looks about right for me. Push your palm down into the ground and replace your head on the floor. Your left hand can just come up to a tented position beside your left shoulder. And then we're going to roll to the right. So you're going to roll towards the arm that's extended out on the floor. And to begin, you can just start in a position in which you're pushing your left hand down into the ground. And you only ever want to go as far as you feel a stretch in the inner edge. And breathe in. And you breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And just honoring where you are in your body, if it feels appropriate. And uh, the breath is a great indicator as to whether you should move further. If you find that your breath is erratic, or you find that you're holding your breath, sometimes that's your body's way of saying, just slow down or back off. So if you can continue to breathe consciously and consistently here, and you would like to move a little further towards the right side to increase the stretch, then my suggestion would be to bend your top left leg, place your foot on the floor behind you and bear weight into that left foot. Your left knee, as you'll see here, is pointing up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. And again, you're continuously pushing into your left hand to distribute your weight back to the right. Just two more breaths. 
at any time if your right arm becomes numb or falls asleep again that's just your body saying you're cutting air or you're cutting flow of blood off and you need to back off On your next inhale, stretch your top leg straight if you've bent it and roll back onto your belly. You're welcome to stack your hands on top of each other and just take a rest in between. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So stretch your left arm out to the left side. Again, taking a moment to look at your left hand and line it up fully with your left shoulder. Then tent your right fingertips beside your right shoulder. And as you inhale, roll over onto the left side. Just being mindful here of my mic so you can still hear me. And if you're anything like me, a lot of the time we rush the depth of the posture. So just first initially find the pose or the stretch um, in a more modified way. Just enough where you feel the stretch in the inner edge of the shoulder and the side of the chest. And then as you take a few breaths, the body settles into this shape. Tune in with awareness to your breath. And again, as long as you can keep a consistent flow of breath in and out, and that you feel the sensations tell you that it's appropriate to further lean into the left side, then you'll bend that top leg, bear weight into the foot on that top leg, Shine your knee up towards the ceiling and continue to push into your right hand. And breathe in. And out. And just letting everything sort of slow down. Be mindful of your jaw. Relax your jaw, keep a bit of space between your teeth. The jaw and the face, connected to the neck and the head, connected to the shoulders. And as you inhale, you're gonna stretch that top leg straight. And again, mindfully roll back onto your belly. For another rest, just stack your hands on top of each other and rest your forehead on your stacked hands. Now that we've created a bit of space here, a bit of a room pectoralis and the, the anterior sort of front sides of the deltoids, so now we're going to bring the shoulder blades together and work um, on some strength, get the rhomboid muscles, the muscles that pull the shoulder blades together, to get a little stronger, which will assist us in keeping a nice, spacious upper back. So you're going to take your strap, as I'm showing here, just onto your sacrum, which is the triangle bone at the base of the spine, just between the buttocks. And you're going to take your hands with your knuckles pointing up and your fingernails pointing down onto the strap with a bit of space between your hands. Then once you've found that position, stretch out to your legs. So you'll lift one leg up as one unit, stretch it long to the wall or the space behind you, and then place your foot on the floor and do the same thing on the other side. Now, Press firmly down through the tops of your feet, anchoring not only the tops of your feet, but your toenails into the ground, so your fifth and fourth toenail. Maintain that pressure of your feet down into the ground and now lengthen your tailbone towards your heels until you feel your pubic bone push firmly into the mat. Those two contact points will stay connected here as you stretch your arms straight and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And a way in which you can connect even more to the back body is pull your hands on the strap in either direction. Push your feet down, push your pubic bone down, pull on the strap. Now lift your chest away from the floor, keeping the tops of your feet pushing into the floor and your pubic bone is the anchor to the spine. Look down to the ground, not to strain your neck and continue to pull up on the strap and back on the strap. Oh, breathe. One more breath. Good, nice and slowly come all the way down. Release the strap onto your buttocks. Rest your hands on the floor and turn your head to the right, bringing the entire brim of your left ear flat against the floor. Completely relax your neck and shoulders. I'm just being mindful of the mic.
and come back to that exercise one more time. So look back to the ground, reach your hands behind you, and once again, grab onto the strap. If you found that that was uh, not challenging enough, then you can bring your hands to touch on the strap or even interlace your feet together. If on the opposite way you're finding that was too challenging, then take your hands wider on the strap. Once again, stretch your legs long, push the toenails and tops of your feet down, lengthen your tailbone until your pubic bone pushes down. Keep those contact points, squeeze your shoulder blades together, stretch your arms straight. Pull on either end of the strap, and as you inhale, lift your chest away from the floor. Lift your hands up, pull back. Lengthen the back of your neck and breathe, really put attention on the pulling on either end of the strap. Last breath. And as you exhale, lower all the way down. This time you can pull the strap off your buttocks. Relax your hands by your side and now turn your head to the left, bringing the entire brim of your right ear flat against the floor and completely relax your head and shoulders. Come back to center, place your hands on the floor below your shoulders and just lightly push yourself up to your hands and knees. From here, nice and mindfully, so an awareness of your body, just find a seated position, just as we did when we began. From this seated position, we're gonna use our strap once again take us back to actually a familiar shape we did in the beginning when we were standing, um, but just add on to it. So we'll move with awareness. You'll take your strap or your makeshift strap around your right shoulder. Just sort of rest it there on the shoulder. As you inhale, take your right arm up over your head. And as you exhale, bend your right elbow and reach behind you to hold on to the strap. Now take your left arm out to a half V-like position, and with your arm straight, pull from your fingertips back into the head of your arm bone, so that you'll see that my shoulder, my upper arm bone, is pulling back into the shoulder when I do that, and that's an important step, so we're not to strain the ligaments that hold the arm bone in place. Now turn your thumb down to the ground, and maintaining this connection here, slowly bring your hand behind you. And I'll show you from behind, so stay as you are as you look. But as I reach my hand behind you, there's a few options you can grab for the strap, that's why it's there. Or if there's room, and you'll know because you'll feel your fingertips, you can grab for the hand itself. Wherever you are in this position, whether you're holding the strap or holding your hand, pull up on the top arm and down on the bottom arm. Be mindful of the placement of your head, your ears are back over your shoulders the back of your head is lengthening continuously up towards the sky. And come to the breath here and breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out. Last breath. And slowly as you inhale, just release your hands by your side. You might find a bit of a movement, a wiggle of the arms, or even just a rolling of the upper back in, and then pulling the shoulders back. It feels kind of nice, a little turn of the head. <sighs> That's pretty simple, we just do the other side. So switch the strap over to your left shoulder. Sort of toss it over your shoulder there. And you'll take your left arm up over your head, bend your elbow and reach for your upper back. And you can grab for the strap. Then take your right arm out to the right side. Again, that V-like position, so it's on an angle from the shoulder. And keeping your arm straight, pull from your fingertips back into the armpit. So you feel really with that left hand, the shoulder blade on the right side coming closer. Then mindfully, so again, keeping the connection of the arm bone, take the hand behind you. Bend at the elbow and reach for the strap 
or your fingertips. And you know, don't be shocked or surprised if you see that on one side you could hold the hands and on the other side you just had to hold the strap. And we are asymmetrical beings, so uh, just be okay with that, that sometimes that's part of it. Now wherever you are, whether you're holding the strap or the hands, lift up on the top hand. So pull on the strap or the hand with that top arm and pull down with the bottom. Be mindful of your head and pull the ears back over the shoulders and again you can close the eyes and come into the body through the breath. Last two breaths, pulling on either end, just giving the shoulders some time to release. Nice and mindfully open your eyes, release your hands by your side, and again, a little wiggle feels nice. Yeah, you can sort of twist to one side. All right, now if you're like me, you're probably feeling done, and especially if you're practicing this while you have a headache, um, sometimes just want to do a few of these and then you can rest. But what we're going to do as we rest, which is a big part of our uh, release, is that you're going to take, I have a, a pretty thick yoga blanket here, but you could take a towel or um, a smaller blanket that you have. I'm just going to do a little single roll so you can see it from the side. And then I'm going to place that roll here down on the mat. And this is where uh, the, the neck, my neck is going to be. So I'm going to lie down on my back with uh, this part of my neck on the roll that we just say. So the back of my head will be resting on the floor or on the mat. So gotta wiggle a little bit. I'm find I would like the roll to be a little bit firmer, which you may find to be the same for you. You just adjust it until you find that place in which the back of your head can rest comfortably on the floor and the neck is being supported by this roll can adjust the bottom portion of it so that it serves you. Stretch your legs out long. Let your hands rest by your side. Even pull your shoulder blades in a little closer together. And I've had my eyes closed for a while, so maybe you have too. And to begin, just take a few cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose. Nice big exhale. Another one, inhale, and exhale, and just slowly let go of any tension through your face, so relax through your brow until the features of your face start to soften. Keep a bit of space between your teeth until you feel the sides of your jaw relax. Let the weight of your head, of your skull and your neck sink heavily down to the blanket and the floor beneath you. And let that initiate a relaxing through your shoulders, to the muscles on your arms. Allow for your belly to expand and contract with every breath in its natural way. And may you truly rest here. Aware of the sensations that are maybe still here in the body, but not reacting to them, not over attaching to them or ruminating on it, just, just being with it. Whatever it may be, comfort or discomfort. Just be within yourself. And I'll encourage you to rest here for a good few breaths. Ideally, a good few minutes. And before you sit back up or move on your day after the few minutes of rest, please roll to one side, your left or right. Rest for a few breaths in fetal position and then push yourself up to a seat. Take a moment to consider how you feel. If anything has changed, no pressure if nothing has. 
and then of course move on with your day. I'll leave you here to wrap up and finish your own Shavasana, corpse pose and your own to the length of time that's appropriate for you and necessary for you to recover. As always, thank you so much for chiming in with us at yoga.tv. Namaste.